Hi folks and welcome back. I'm travelling across the country on my way over to Shropshire where I'm meeting up with Andy tomorrow for, a, for an overnight camp and I thought I'd break the journey up uh, with, a, with a stop tonight. Um, I'm in Northamptonshire and I promised you an overnight camp in the, in the Land Rover months ago <laughs> so I thought this might be, make a good, uh, a good opportunity to do that. Yeah, I'm uh, right by the River Nen, absolutely stunning spot here. Um, the place where I'm parked is, is right by a road, which is a little bit busy at the moment, but it's approaching five o'clock, so I'm assuming that's just people on their way home from work and, and what have you. Hopefully that'll quieten down a little bit later on. Um, I was told, told about this place um, by Chris, so big shout out to Donny Outdoors. Thank you, mate. Um, and yeah, I think it's gonna be, I think it's gonna be just the job. I don't wanna set anything up yet until, until it's dark, really, until that traffic dies down. Don't wanna make it obvious that I'm stopping the night here because um, you know, you're not really allowed to. But uh, the whole point of what I've done in the Land Rover is for it to be stealthy. So, um, you know, draw the curtains and nobody should know that I'm, I'm in there. It's about half past six and I've just uh, drawn the curtains and put the uh, reflective screen on the front windscreen um, just so that passing passing traffic can't see that I've got lights on and stuff in here. Um, there is a little bit of traffic still buzzing past um, but it's nothing like as busy as it was earlier. I think I think it's just you know Friday Friday afternoon traffic people heading home after work and um, I think this road is used as a bit of a cut through between two two busy roads but um, hopefully that'll just get quieter and quieter as the evening goes on. Yeah, it's quite cozy in here now. I've got the, the curtains drawn. Um, I'm gonna get some food on the go. I'm really hungry um, and I'm thirsty. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a cup of tea or something. I've just bought uh, a ration pack. Well, I haven't bought it. This actually lives in the Land Rover. Um, I, I try and keep a 24 hour ration pack uh, just tucked away in one of the cupboards in here just for sort of emergency use really. You know, as we get into winter, um, you know, if you get, get stuck out, it's good to have some, some food. And I'm, I'm kind of set up in here for being able to, to cook and heat water and, and keep warm and all the rest of it. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna tuck into this ration pack, see what there is in here. It's uh, menu, menu one, operational ration pack. I don't know what, what's in it, but we'll find out in a minute. But the, the nice thing about these is there's everything in there. You know, it's three meals, there's all your drinks and, and everything. So um, yeah, we'll open that up in a minute and, uh, and take a look and see what we've got.
Mm, lovely. Right, let's see what we've got in this ration pack then. So aside from the sundries bag, which has all your tea and coffee and wipes and chewing gum and all that sort of stuff, we've got uh, a tomato and pasta salad. That's, that's a lunch. So I'll have that for my lunch tomorrow before I meet up with Andy. Uh, we've got mixed fruit in pineapple juice. Mexican sweet chili peanuts, excellent. <laughs> Uh, I've got some uh, muesli here with milk, so just have to add uh, water to that. That makes up a little pouch of muesli for breakfast tomorrow. Got some drinks here by the looks of it. We've got um, peanut butter, excellent. <laughs> and some biscuits it looks like, yeah, uh, digestive biscuits, which I can have with the peanut butter. Got another drink there. Hot chocolate, mint flavoured hot chocolate. That's really nice. I've had that before. Um, we've got uh, tissues, uh, an orange drink. These drinks are all like fortified with tons and tons of sugar. You know, obviously designed to keep a soldier marching. Uh, we've got a cereal bar, and then we've got chickpea curry. So that's what I'm going to have for my dinner tonight uh, with. Rice, excellent, and uh, chocolate brownie for dessert. doesn't look too bad. I'm going to um, tip my rice just straight in there. I can just eat it out of the same bag. I'll just mix it up a little bit. That was really nice. Yep. Well done, Ministry of Defence. See what the brownie's like. Yeah. Looks like a brownie. I've made a few further improvements to the Land Rover since you last saw it. Um, I added a sink. I am denied about whether to do this and just in the end I just decided to just go ahead and put a sink in. It's uh, basically a dog bowl. There's a 20 litre water container that sits underneath it and the pump, the pump just has a pipe that goes into that, that uh, jerry can. So it's really easy, you just fill it up, pop it away in there, it stows in that little cupboard and uh, pump away. Having water at hand to wash my hands or um, to fill my kettle up is, um, is really good. I've also added a couple of shelves on the side of the main uh, storage unit um, so that I can put things on there when I'm stationary. Um, when I'm driving along, obviously, they'll just fall off. But I have put a couple of rare earth magnets just screwed to the, the sort of side wall of the unit and um, my tin mugs, my little enamel mugs, uh, stay on there nicely. You know, even if I break hard, they stay. I decided to go ahead and install a leisure battery. So I've got a whopping great 110 amp hour leisure battery, which um, runs my heater and it will run all my lighting, but I haven't connected it yet. I changed the doors. They're the older style uh, series Land Rover doors with the sliding uh, windows and the lift up anti-burst locks. I much prefer them, much prefer the older doors. There's more leg room, the locks are stronger. They're a definite improvement on the Defender doors. I just need to paint the front ones to match the rear ones that I put in and then we'll be there. If you haven't already seen them and you're interested, I have a two part video on the full conversion I did to this Land Rover. Everything from start to finish. Um, I'll put a link to those videos in the description box below. Just click on the title, it'll expand into the description box and the links will be there.
I made myself a very strong hot chocolate, very nice, <laughs> but really strong. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have this and, um, and then uh, get myself set up for bed, uh, transform this into um, sleeping mode. <laughs> My bed in here is a hammock. Um, I sleep really well in a hammock. I've got a, a nice warm sleeping bag. Um, the uh, temperature I think will probably drop overnight. It's a really clear, clear night sky. I've got my snuggly wool blanket, my outhouse blanket, which I'm gonna put inside the hammock, um, just to give me a bit of insulation from underneath. Uh, the blanket doesn't compress as much as um, the sleeping bag does, so that, that should still give me some insulation from underneath. Um, I'm not gonna put the heating on or anything. Um, if I wake up in the morning and it's chilly, I might just give it a blast just to warm the place through a little bit before I get out of my sleeping bag, but I'm not gonna have the thing running overnight, that's for sure. I'll open up the lift up flaps on the front of the Land Rover, the ventilation flaps. I might even just crack the sunroof just so I've got plenty of airflow um, through the through the Land Rover overnight. And that should be that should be just the job. Yeah. I'll uh, certainly sleep well, I'm sure. The only the only issue might be that road noise. Because <clears throat> cars are still going past and they're very close to where I'm parked. You know, the cars are, well, there's one going past now. You know, they're like two meters away. <laughs> so um, get my super sweet, thick hot chocolate down and uh, bed.
drawn the curtains back and taken the screen off the front and there's surprisingly very little condensation a little bit on the on the front windscreen um, but that's about it um, I know I've had the vents open and the windows ajar overnight but I was expecting there to be a bit more I suppose the heating has helped a bit there I've had that running for about half an hour 45 minutes or so now yeah I'm gonna have uh, a last cup of coffee and then go and have a walk down to the the little mill pond down there and um, just enjoy my coffee Right, that is me all done. Everything stowed away, packed away, and uh, I'm gonna get cracking. I've got quite a long drive today to meet up with Andy. So um, yeah, I wanna press on. It's been a good little spot to stop. Um, a shame about the, the traffic noise, but like I said, that did, that did calm down. Um, but really beautiful, you know, that, that mill over there and the, uh, and the river going past, really, really nice. Yeah, slept well, very comfortable, good food, all good. Yeah, and I'll see you next week in Shropshire. Thanks for watching.